Hey guys, I'm Jarlet on occasion, and today we're stopping some alien abductions, because they're bad. Except they're great for us, because it lowers panic across the world, which is amazing. So very happy about people getting abducted. Although I guess does it does it hinge on how successful we are? Is it like up to ten? Is it one per guy you save? Because it, it's ten, right? We, we saved nine last time, which is very good. But yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, but if we clear everyone out, I reckon Gamede could probably, with his 90 time units, circumvent the map three times and just rescue everyone, like The Flash or something. But better than that, I hear that movie's just awful. It's a huge flop, isn't it? Anyway. Um, so, Trevor Gamede. Carol Hill. Kate White. Liao <laughs> I feel like I'm getting worse at saying that. Uh, Amiko Takada, Liang Yanan, Paul Voss, Yoko Ishihara, and Frederick, Frederick Srinu. And also, <laughs> Clara Lindgren. I don't know why it doesn't just have this box be bigger. It could easily just be bigger. It's real weird, but anyway. Early access, I'm sure a lot of people are saying, why isn't this just bigger? Um, Sally Reed and Inga Pavlova. Let's do it. All right, off we go. And the anticlimactic moment where it's like, let's do the mission, and then you have to wait for the, you know, wait for the ship. Um, built another tra we built a training center in Questel Quartel. That's really good news. That means we can have potentially some troops over there um, gaining something. Uh, although, if we want to have actually have a dropship there and them doing missions, ideally we need to get at least another couple um, of troops there because we're probably going to want another Dragonfly over there, right? But I think broadly we can just rely on Dragonfly One to go over there and do missions. We're really just keeping stuff there for the sake of um, defending if, if it gets attacked. Because that would be terrible. Because, you know... Death. <laughs> so, let's commence the tactical battle. Alright. We need to make sure we save at least five. It is a time limit, though. Scary. Rescue at least five civilians from reduction tubes before the timer expires. A few of the five reduction tubes have been deactivated when the timer expires. Is a loss condition. Being dead, it also is. Uh, alien ground forces are attempting to capture and abduct civilians in this region, preventing this occurring will lower panic in the local region. And uh, yeah, right click and stuff happens. Uh, also, kill everything. It doesn't end. You can still grab abductees. We have seven turns to rescue up to ten folks. Uh, I hate starting in this area, because every time we walk there, it's just these huge stretches that they can, like, shoot down. I hate it. Uh, but... We do... We do have a shield. On a couple of folks. Do they seem... That one seems bigger than the normal ones. That looks like the normal... This looks like a heavier version. A much beefier boy. 135 health? Wow, definitely want to bludgeon him with sticks. That'll be wild. Okay, but let's go over here. And, uh... Ugh. That's a bit annoying. Can't quite... Can't quite look that way. But this looks promising. There's probably nothing here. But I think I do need to check. <sighs> do need to check. Good. Good. Okay, this is why we have so many people. So we can check these things. And probably other things, I don't know. Okay, there's one over here too. Alright. So we've had a couple capsules anyway. Wait, no, just one. Really just one? Oh, okay. One capsule. Uh, we found three aliens. So that's nice. God, he's a big boy though, isn't he? Absolutely huge. They look awesome. Like, that's big enough that they can actually... It feels like a lot more detailed creature than these ones that just seem to have just like... Oh yeah, just a little tube for a head. Like, you can see the texture. It's large enough to sort of have that communicate, which is really cool. So, I mean, we can't get to him, but I can flashbang him, almost certainly. 
and we are going to do that, so... Alright, good job, Trevor. God, this music really, uh... really goes for it sometimes. Alright, let's get over here. A little nervous about cresting this area. Doesn't seem to be anything else there. Okay, good. So these things probably have terrible eyesight. Uh, like everyone else does. You know, everyone else being aliens. These particular aliens, at least. Oh, wow, you can get real high up. I kind of love that, actually. This feels like a very dangerous, but potentially lucrative place to stand. So I'm doing it. Oh my god, this is such a bad idea. There we go. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, that feels unusual. That is going to be so confusing. I I don't like that they're solid. There's no reason that they should be. When you scroll down, they should fade out slightly, so you know that they aren't clickable. Because right now, it looks absolutely identical to someone stood on the ground there. Like, same amount of shadow and everything. Like, just, it shouldn't... That's bad. That is bad. I really hope they figure out a way to change that. Because, yeah, that is shocking. Um, let's just get over here. I'll go around it later. And, yeah, you two. Let's point over here. They're not down there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's going to cause problems. Weird they can't see anyone, though. Uh, intervening object. Okay, it's not... Is it, is it saying they can't see or they can? I mean, there's still high accuracy there, but that should be red if they can see it, right? It's very weird. I'm just going to move it along. Okay, he's moving about. Seems to go pretty slow. Okay, nice. Shredding his armor already. God, he's huge. Absolutely massive. Can you reach him? No, can't quite reach. That's sad. Yeah, we're going to have to... Um... Could hit him with a stun gun. But probably not, though, right? 50% odds. Okay, I could try and finish him with that. Uh, first thing we got to do, though. Seeing as how you can't reach. God, you only have one stun gun? That sucks a bit. But that's okay. Got not even great at throwing these. <laughs> I try, try, try. Excellent. Yeah, big, big boy. Can't miss though. Huge damage. That's what I like to see. Then do I snipe him again, or do I throw this at him? It's not a terrible idea. I mean, it's not the best accuracy, though. But it'll do some damage. And it'll destroy the cover, which means I can get a better shot with everyone else. I can't throw it on him for some reason. Oh, it's because he's literally just out of range, I think. Okay, well, you can move up. Oh, we just spotted him. I don't think we have to worry about him. Just yet. Alright, we're doing it. Okay, doesn't have much health left. This only does, what, 20 stun? 15 stun. It's a bit crap. I will need to shoot him again. I don't know what with. 
maybe another blasting charge. But I might just explode him, which would be very sad, but... Like, if he dies, great, you know? Perfect. And then our sniper can finish him off if he gets uh, a bit... a bit iffy. Alright, 69% chance to hit him from there. 66 is so similar, but it, it allows me to move out of the way a bit more easily. Or, I can actually do that twice. But, rubbish odds. Oh man, this is, uh... <laughs> you, probably, you can't reach, can you? <laughs> no, not quite. Okay. You can almost actually get over there, which is pretty wild. Um, yeah, we're going to sort out him as well. We have to save people, but like this is great if we can capture one of these things. Alright. Let's try it. Oh, fingers crossed. Bit of lag there. Excellent, we caught the big boy. That was a civilian officer. Oh, fantastic. Now it means that I can shoot this guy. Can't miss. I uh, can't kill it either, but... But we almost can. Holy crap. Good job. Good bloody job. Alright, let's move you out of the way. That was a bit rubbish. A little scared of that. That's fine. Uh. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. How about you? Actually, not a terrible idea. Not perfect, but not terrible. No, we need to we need to crest around here. We don't have much time. We have to make good time. Speaking of which, I found a boy. Uh, we're going to try and bludgeon him to death. Another flashbang from Gumede. Excellent. What? That was a flashbang, wasn't it? What did I just do? <laughs> what? Do I have to throw another? There's another vat. That's good. Alright, he's suppressed. Good. Weird. Alright, he's just used all of his flipping time units, which is annoying. He decided he wasn't gonna wasn't gonna play dead. Alright, nothing be over there. How dare you? I'm saying in advance, you know. Just in case there was something there. Uh, so you can bludgeon him. Go go nuts. Just have him. Blat. Blat. Nice. We're making a collection. Alright. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, there's another one over there. Uh, Gmede can catch up, frankly. Might not be a terrible idea to jump up here. Let's get some line of sight. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Still, okay, there's one over there too. So there's uh, four in range of us. That will be very close to securing... Oh, you haven't moved. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get you up then. Perfect. Uh, not that you can really get very far, but it's fine. It's more bodies, isn't it? Come on, Sally. Okay, moving on. So I don't think he's going to be a very good... Oh, excellent. Well done. I'm glad you missed. Yeah, very nice. That was perfect. Okay, let's move Kate White out. Huh, White out. You know, like... Correction fluid. It's hilarious. Uh, right, let's get... You to try. Nope. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. 
But we don't have to kill him right away. So, you know, we can take our time. Yeah, I don't want to hit that. I don't want to hit the bat. Should have probably grabbed this while I could. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, let's grab this. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Well, the guy's gone. Okay, the guy's gone. I think we just want to line up. I think. Because I don't know how we're going to be able to stun him, is the thing. We do have snipers and stuff up here, though, which is pretty great. Um. <laughs> I really think that's the quickest way. All right. All right. If that's, if that's what you think, I'll believe you. And we also have you down here as well. Let's move you. Okay, good. Um, oh, excellent. Real good news. It's another one. Oh, hey, you can't climb over stuff. But we can run over here. You lot. Uh -huh. There's another one there. Okay, that's good news too. Now let's go up here. And let's see how this looks. Oh, it's out of range. Gutted. I didn't know I had a max range. That's not even showing a line. Why is that even showing a line? I guess something must be in the way. This, I guess? Yeah, I think so. Can't, can't even... Yeah, I can't even angle it so I can see what's in the way. Um, okay. So, really... Kind of down to you guys. Um, let's get your mate out here. Let's get you out here. Uh, Takada. Probably climb up there and get a good look around. I think she'll get a good look around. Another one's there. Perfect. Okay, we are finding a lot of them. We are really spreading out around the map, though. Which is a little scary. And we don't really... Ugh, he might overwatch. Okay. So we've done three, and there's four, five, and six. I think there's another one in here somewhere. Yeah, I just can't risk hitting this, can I? But they got bad eyesight, so, you know. I'm really, really hinging on that right now. Really hinging on that. Alright, Kate, don't get killed. Uh, you guys stay where you are. They haven't acted, but it means they can overwatch, and they are incredibly accurate. Ooh. Okay, that's uh, shocking. But he is so close. <laughs> ah, there's another one. And that's the one downstairs. Great shot. Nice. Okay, they are all just wading in closer and closer. Snipers? Ooh, okay, they hit the shield. Come on, snipers. Snipers doing nothing. They don't overwatch from like a huge distance. I think there is a drop off in their ability to overwatch at like longer ranges. Um, I think. Couldn't tell you for certain. Um, you have no... Okay, none of you guys have any flashbacks. Okay, right, you've got a couple. But my god, he's a long way away. 50% um, odds, even if it strays a little bit. Okay, brilliant. Now I don't have to worry about them shooting back. Let's blow his face off. Good. 
Let's continue to do that. Really? Wow, okay. Let's beat him with sticks. <laughs> I'm collecting them. Biff. This is very fun. I am really enjoying the SWAT. Uh, the SWAT tactic. The SWAT strat. And, oh, he's just dead. It's like... No getting out of that, mate. Might be some pods in here as well, around the back. I'm sure we'll find them soon enough. Uh, you don't stand much of a chance. Wow, 73%? Nice. However, should probably... Wow, you guys have so many flashbangs. I love how many flashbangs this lot have. Uh, that guy's quite far away. Don't have to worry about him. Oh, we just spotted him. There's another one back here, too. So there's a few out here. Oh, he did crouch, which is a bit sad. But uh, we can try and shoot twice. Not that we need to. Excellent. Um, okay, good. Good. Ooh, another one there. Excellent. Do I want to grab that? Ooh, maybe. Let's just climb up there. You run over here. All right. Okay, this is real good, actually. There's another one there, too. So, okay, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're going to get them all, you know. We have four turns left. We're not even halfway done. Like, that's kind of nuts. Um, oh, you've already shot, so I don't really want to move you. You've shot twice, so I don't want to move you. Uh, you, though. I'm a little concerned about what's going on in there. But these two can keep an eye out. Um, our snipers, though. I mean, these... Hmm, they're going to have to move, aren't they? They're going to have to move. Oh, we can't climb up there at all. Maybe up here? Let's start moving. No, no. I was trying to click on him, I could. Of course. No. Stop. Why are you like this? Okay, look, we're making we're making progress. It's fine. All these guys are doing great. We are collecting all of these survivors. We can grab that now. We've completed the mission already. We've already completed the mission. Nice. Alright, let's get you up here too. Uh, or up here, maybe? Or we can just move along here. There. Let's, uh, let's get up here. So you're gonna be a bit of a iffy spot. It's fine. You've not acted yet. God, you could take some pot shots too, couldn't you? Um... shoot from there, 70%, but there's no guarantee he's not going to shoot back, and these guys are quite close. So I think I actually just want to have him overwatch from there. I think it's probably safer. Though, I don't know if she's in the right spot for that. Whoops. Alright, so six, seven, eight. Really hope there's nothing there. I'll find out soon. Okay, done. You guys stay where you are. Ooh, it's another massive one. God, they're big. It's really cool. Okay, just, yeah, hit everything except the lizard. You wanna maybe, wanna maybe aim for the giant lizard? Okay, there's three aliens around here. There's three aliens. Three. It's actually quite a lot, considering one of them is, you know, a million feet tall. Last time we could just, like, bullseye him with, um... With sniper fire. We don't have them nearby. And we do need to get over there. We do need to get there. Huh. 
All right, I guess you're just charging down towards the uh, towards that that is very strangely hidden in the fog of war. The bottom of it is hidden in the fog of war, but its height doesn't get hit, which is pretty funny. So it just sort of is broken, which is fine. It's just uh, a little silly. Um, oh, it's being a silly here, Sally. Silly Sally. You remember Silly Sally? Again, I, I didn't name her. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. We knew they were there. I mean, I can start taking pot shots, but... 2%. Nice. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, maybe we just let them come. I really don't want to break that. I really don't. I also want to be careful of getting too close to him. God, the lag when it tries to draw a line from that to him is pretty bonkers. Um, right. You can probably get a fairly good... Okay, not from there, apparently. Or there. Okay, that's pretty good. We have 17 points left. We're trying it. Oh, Jesus. Another one? Bloody hell. Okay. Well, that's where a machine gun would be quite cool. <laughs> quite enjoy that, I think. A lot of aliens. I'm glad we're converging on them. But I really, whoops, I really wish we had these over here. Because not having them nearby... Ooh, this works. And then next turn we can just shoot straight down the pipe. I know we won't have the height, but I don't think that really matters. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Alright, Kameda could probably get over here. Okay, not that one. Uh, there? And toss it over? That works. Uh, he's a problem, though. Potentially. Unless I can just start blasting him from over here. She's got a great shot at him. And that would turn him this way. Which means that he wouldn't be shooting that way when she walks forward to, um, you know, flashbang him. Because that's the thing, we just want to slow him down. Right, that's that's what I'm trying to achieve here. If we can suppress them, they can't move, and it gives us more time to get all of our folks into positions where we can just wipe them out um, next turn, you know. We can just keep shooting. She has flashbangs, though. That works. That works. Alright, let's do that. Excellent. Alright, that instead. Can I just kill him? Maybe not. Could try and blow him up. But no, I think um, suppressing him and suppressing him would sound like great ideas. This guy is really far back. They're not accurate at that range. So we're just... Oh, excellent. That'll do. Ooh. Scary. It's scary. <laughs> Alright, let's move you back. Perfect. And, uh, do I want to move you across? I think I probably do. I think I probably do. Uh, I can't throw any blasting charges. I can destroy some terrain. Doesn't look like I can. Um, it's not not worth doing, is it? Okay. I know they're not moved. That's the point. Okay. Fingers crossed. He's going to stumble about. He's going to take a bit of damage. Good. 
Did I miss? Ooh, be careful of the pod. Oh, Maisie's not been um, suppressed. Good hit. Uh, anyone else gonna? I think everyone's overwatched, huh? Oh yeah. Oh no, they're not. I was gonna say, oh yeah, great. Just huddle up together. Perfect. Thank you. But they're not doing that. I can probably stun them both though with one flash. I'm not sure my snipers can shoot him though, which is a shame. But this guy we can kill real easy. <laughs> we can get him real nice. Um, also, I can not jump over this fence, so I, I have no hope in hell of stopping him. But I can suppress him. It re <laughs> redrew my movement. Because if you hover over them, it draws a line when you have a melee weapon. That's great news, though. Uh, with him suppressed, I can just walk up, like, straight behind this guy and blast him, but I might kill him with a sniper. And then Amiko can start blasting this guy. For big damage. In fact, that's probably even better. So, okay, and then those two can help with that lark. These guys... Okay, that's not the... whoops. It's not the best chance to stun. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's try it. Please stun them both. Come on. Excellent news. He's not stunned yet, but I can stun him. Do I want to, though, or do I just shoot him? Because if he does shoot back over here, he's probably not going to hit, right? You know what? He's definitely not going to hit if I just stun him, so let's do that instead. Excellent. Now that he's suppressed, I mean, it's going to be harder to hit them all now that they're suppressed. But they're still dead, so it's fine. Um, 40%, 42%, you can't hit at all. Uh, could try a blasting charge. Destroy this cover. That would help attack any of these guys. So let's go there. A blasting charge, that's all I've got to do this turn. With her. But I think that's good. And yeah, Gamede, we can have come over here and kill him too. Perfect. Alright, just one more shot. Pretty damn good. Uh, you can shoot. Nice. And now it's you. Alright, let's move you there first. Then you can start shooting. Oh, come on. That was... Giving you all of the shots here. 72% odds here. Ooh. I'm a little concerned we're not going to kill him. Oh, we can't get Kate White over here. Oh, we still have you, though. We still have you. Okay, that works. <laughs> or not. Apparently that doesn't work at all. 80% that was. 80%. Incredible. Incredible. <gasps> and that didn't even kill him. Wow, that's astounding. Okay. This guy gets to live then, I think. Nice. Um, could throw a smoke grenade at him so he's sort of stuck in it, so he has to move. And that might eat up enough time units that he can't... Um, he can't attack us. I think a Mayday could finish this guy off. We have two more turns to grab that and that. And that, interesting. It looks like we can get them all. But uh, this guy's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem. But yeah, I think we can smoke him. I think we hit him with a smoke grenade. I know it seems a little odd, but... It forces him to move before he can fire. And that should give us very good cover. That's also Doug. He may just shoot us. I'm a little scared about that. Uh, truth be told. He does have a big old alien gun. But aliening. I could just blow that guy up, couldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. And then... You know, sit tight. Sit tight. Alright. 
So if he moves, I don't think he'll then be able to shoot. Amazing. I think I might be able to bludgeon him to death too. Thanks to this guy. Get um, a flash on him. A couple of sniper shots. I have to move him out of the way though. Before the snipers fire. Alright, flashbang. Okay, so it's the last turn. Oh no. Could you reach if that wasn't there? I wonder. Because it might be worth actually detonating that so she can run. Because that might do it. That might do the trick. Did I? Yeah, I did flash already. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I had or not. Uh, let's get over here. You can grab this. Oh no, you need to reload. Do you as well? No, she can still shoot. Okay. Ugh, shame. Real shame. But, I can get some good shots off here, that's for sure. Uh, you can shoot twice. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that did it. Flip it out. Nicely done. Uh, okay. You... Oh, God, you don't have a satchel charge. You do. You do. That's a little iffy. We might end up blowing up ourselves. Don't care. We're trying it. It's Our only hope is to get her up there. She may not be able to reach. <laughs> ah, we're the greatest. We're the greatest. Hell yes. Mission complete. That was textbook. Like, seriously. Did Ishihara kill five people? Oh, ten missions. Okay. And uh, five total kills for Sally. Amazing. And we got a civilian officer. And two other civilians. And five other other civilians. And yeah, plasma gun, elenium, alloys. Did great. But yeah, the officer. It's a crest item there. It's going to help us figure out where they come from. Although they're also idiots, but they are an officer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that was amazing. That was textbook. No one got hurt. And we were just doing everything that we could do to, like, toy with the um, toy with the lizards. We knew that they weren't going to try and shoot us from a distance. So just controlling their movement, you know. Um, I think the, the smoke grenade on top of an enemy is, is a real clutch move. I think that's something we should do more often. You know, I just thought of it because I was just throwing everything at the vet, you know. But but actually forcing them to be in a position where there's no chance they can shoot. They have to move, but they only have 50% of their movement anyway. It just leaves them with not enough to even try and shoot, if they even if they could, you know. They either shoot and have no chance of hitting because it's through smoke, or... Yeah, I like that. It forces them to move. Gives you a better shot in the next... Uh, the next round. Very fun. Anyway, uh, local survivors zero zero. There were no locals. They were all in tubes, but we saved them all. Amazing. Oh, I'm so chuffed with that. I think that's the best um, mission we've ever done. And we just lowered all of this by ten, did we? I mean, that mean that was on fifty. That's crazy. Okay, now what is this? Medium size, and it's an annoying spot. I can't attack that with the one thing in. Quetzal Gotl, it's coming right for us, isn't it? Oh god. <laughs> New research projects. Interrogate the alien officer. Woohoo. Oh boy. Nice. That's very cool. Does that mean we'll see officer versions of all of the aliens? Because that's really cool if that's the case. Okay, went past us. That's fine. And yeah, panic is going up a lot. I think this is just attacking everyone town strafed. Wow, it is literally just taking pot shots and stuff. Okay, that's a problem. We really need to be able to shoot these things down. Let's have a look at our aircraft. How are we looking? 88%. That's pretty great. Eight hours and we'll have the Phantom. In that case... Uh, okay, what have we got in our base? I think I might send two interceptors to the other base. And we'll have one real good interceptor and a friend. 
and then we'll try and build a second one. So we'll have two of the good ones here, maybe, in our main base. For now. Maybe. Alright, look, Angel 3, go to the other one. And Angel 2, you're doing the same. We have eight hours, alright? We have eight hours. God, I hope that was worthwhile. I don't know how long it'll take for it to get there, but we need to get more ships there. So we have a Phantom Interceptor, and now we have space again. Or a Phantom Interceptor. I really hope these things are worth it. And now we go to base stores. Right, if we go to base stores, we have some friends. Uh, we're not going to get rid of the officer, a couple captured civilians. They seem to be cheaper than before. So yeah, they do seem to get cheaper. I think it's the more you sell them, the cheaper they get. Which I think is just a way to stop you from, like, capitalizing on... Um, on selling things forever. Because if every time you sell, there's a chance that it gets cheaper to sell it again. It means you want to have a massive stockpile. So you can sell it all at once, at its highest price. Perhaps. I might be talking crap. There is a chance. It has been known to happen. But, uh, yeah, just the odd one going down by, an, like, a... You know, just a small increment. It feels a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, and yeah, the corpses can go. Uh, Alright, 300k. <laughs> it's another ship. Excellent. Boom. Or not. Phantom Interceptor. Oh, it does queue them up all separately. Okay. Three days to build each one. But, I mean, we're getting a lot. We are running low on Alenium, though. So three is going to be our limit by the looks of it. Alright, how are you looking? Um, launch interceptors. How would we... Okay, a couple of them are in transit. How long are they going to be? Oh my god, this cheeky little sod. Come on, tell me that they are arriving soon. How long does it take? Oil rig strafed. Get away from the oil rig. Yeah, okay, this is getting bad. Panic's getting really bad here, because I just don't have anything to scare them away with. Oh my god, how long does it take to get a fighter jet over here? Are you, are you like, putting it on a little barge? And sailing it across it on a little barge? Just a little tugboat? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, that's arrived, and the other one has. Yeah, just in time. Just in time. Bloody hell, okay. Uh... How's this doing? One more day. UFO hull planting. Combat data suggests that armoured extraterrestrial craft demonstrate an impressive level of resistance to conventional air-to-air -air weapons. Laboratory analysis of their hull plating reveals how this is achieved. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the primary factor is the specific composition of the alien alloys used to construct the armour. The addition of various trace elements appears to have uh, collectively increased the durability of the plating by over 50% relative to unadulted samples. This information is immensely valuable to our own war effort. There are an almost unimaginable number of alloy permutations, and it would take many decades for us to identify the optimal mixture through experimentation alone. Thankfully, our enemies have done our work for us. Furthermore, microscopic analysis of the chemical structure of the plating reveals the molecules are compressed together in incredibly tight lattices, akin to a material like diamond. When formed into plates of armor, these hardened alloys are so strong that conventional musicians frequently glance off rather than penetrate. It has proved possible to, imperfectly, reproduce this hardening effect by quenching and tempering the substance under extremely high pressures, creating alloy samples with far greater mechanical performance than any we have previously fabricated. These advances can be applied to our own designs immediately and should allow for the construction of a new generation of protective equipment. Alloy plating and alloy plating for the Angel. Interesting. And Guardian Battle Armor is something we can study. That's pretty cool. So the alloy plating, I'm pretty sure that's just the armor plating we put in, like, under our Kevlar. And this is a whole new armor. It's going to cost Elenium, isn't it? This is going to be a power armor. Development of heavy infantry armor that makes full use of hardened alien materials. Protect the wearer. Pretty cool. Uh, or alien plasma weapons. Do you want the plasma weapons or the protection? More damage might be worthwhile. Elenium explosives would be pretty great too, actually. In fact, all of this would be pretty... Flipping great. We have so much stuff to do. Extra training rate and damage versus civilians might be nice, though. Just a cheap little cheeky bonus. Um, tough one. 
Not sure. Uh, dee 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 dee. Doodly do. So hang on, when you have no researchers, just make money. Oh, that's so fun. That's really clever. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it just gives us money. That's very cool. Um, as fun set aside for upkeep cars can be released back into the general budget. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I do like the idea of Guardian Battle Armor. Let's try and do that. Extra armor first. I feel like our weapons aren't doing the job. It's a concerted effort a lot of the time, but as long as we're like just spamming stun grenades, I feel like we're having a good time. So, you know. Uh, base upgrades, nothing. And we get alloy plating for the angel, which would upgrade the angel. Which would be a nice way to like keep them going. It's not that pricey either. Well, 250k, but like in terms of alloys, it's not too bad. Oh, an alloy plating. Upgrade. Okay, this gives our vehicles better armor. That's really good. And then alloy plating. Placeholder. Okay. Oh, no, it's here. That was odd. Uh, this will upgrade the armor plating of our vehicles to be alloy plating. Oh, the steel plates that our soldiers can wear in the tactical vest will also be upgraded to alloy plates. So yeah, that's really good. But again, half a million. Cool. Cool. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The fact that we've got a couple of phantoms. Yeah, we've got phantoms on the way. I don't think the alloy plating is going to be as important. Potentially. Also, hang on. Uh, main base. So yeah, we're going to have three of these, which is awesome. So three of those in one base, and then four interceptors in the other? Like, the four interceptors are probably going to be okay, right? That'll probably do quite well. So I think that's the way we do We have three of the good ones, four of the bad ones. Or I could do like two and one, and then three and one. Well, one and three. You know what I mean. Split up the phantoms a bit. We've done another one, working on another. Amazing. Not a lot is happening right now. And actually, it makes me wonder, because this is early access, right? Is less happening right now? Is there more time between things happening? Or is this space where something else would be happening if it was in the game? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But things seem to slow down a lot. Though I, I wonder if it wouldn't feel as slow if we were actually shooting down the bloody, you know, UFOs that are flying around here that we're spotting. Um, but then we didn't have eyes on so much of the world as we do now earlier, and we were still getting plenty of aliens to shoot down. So, I don't know. Um, so you're done. I can't get any more money out of anything. But we have just a bunch of incredible fighters now. Which... Maybe I want them to all have lasers. Not sure. That's got better armor penetration. Could have one of each. On each one. Is that clever or stupid? Or stupid clever? I really have no idea. But gives them both... Both purposes. Potentially. And then we've got Angel 1. God, look at the difference in how they look. I mean, this looks like it's made out of... I mean, this looks like a Transformer toy, honestly. And this thing looks like, I don't know, crazy stealth fusion power electric razor for men. Like, it just, you know, totally different. Um, Alright, you know what? Angels are all going to Quetzalcoatl, alright? You know, no, it's got to be a Phantom. We're sending, we're sending Phantom three. We've got to send one. What? I'd love to select base. <laughs> what the hell? I think it's because it's getting redone. I'll move this one. Okay, I can't. What is happening? Can I not move these? How about you? Okay, what is going on? I don't have anywhere to put it. That's what's happening. That's not been built yet. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Um, this does make me think that we want to send one of these over and then send one of the angels back. Perhaps. So two and two, and then we'll have three and one. No, I'm doing this all wrong. 
We'll have three and one and two and one. I don't know, whatever. I'll, I'll send a phantom over when there's room. And I'm sure it'll work out. So guardian armor is our first person. Okay, that's still not crazy, you know, crazy exciting, is it? That's not like crazy future tech. That still just looks like armor. So guardian armor is our first personal armor designed to truly harness the power of alien materials, granting the wearer excellent protection against extraterrestrial weaponry and other battlefield hazards. So um, armor and hardness, by the way, I'm pretty sure armor can be negated by armor penetration. Hardness can't. That's just a, a static, like, damage reduction from all hits. I'm pretty sure. Um, the first layer of protection is a grey cotton coverall. High tech. Uh, impregnated with flame retardant coating and woven through with alloy nano wires. Okay, that's a bit more fancy. Despite complaints that it is scratchy and uncomfortable to wear, it serves a vital purpose, conducting some of the deadly uh, energy of the plasma bolt away from the impact point and dissipating it over a large area. Thick armor plates forged from hardened alloys and heat-resistant ceramic are worn atop this undersuit, strategically positioned to cover vital organs. These plates are highly effective against kinetic impacts, but also offer relatively good protection against energy weapons. Thus, should one of your soldiers prove foolish enough to get hit by enemy fire, their survival chances will be increased immeasurably if wearing Guardian armor. Unfortunately, such protection comes at a price. Guardian armor is considerably bulkier and heavier than existing types of armor, making it a poor choice for operatives carrying significant amounts of equipment or those of particular feeble physiques. So this is, this is where it gets more interesting, because it's heavy, um, it's not like the previous upgrade to armor that was really light and good. This is just heavy and much better. So, like, there's going to be a cost to movement for this, um, it sounds like. Additionally, large quantities of alien alloys required to manufacture the nanowires and armor plates that make the Guardian so effective. As always, you must decide how to optimally spend them. Fine. Um, do more research. Plasma weapons next, I guess? I suppose? And then we can send the lasers as hand-me-downs to our other other base. Uh, so... Armor. Guardian armor. Twelve alloys. Not terrible. I can make four. It's gonna take three days. But that's pretty great. I mean, things like, uh, you know, Gumede, who's got an entire backpack full of grenades. He doesn't really need to be carrying all that. So we can probably just make use of him being... You know, in really good armor. Probably do that with a few people. You know, the, the two folks with shields? Actually, maybe not both of them. Because Kate can already barely carry what she's got, but we'll figure it out. Okay, come on, aliens. Where are you at? Okay, there's one over there. Let's launch interceptors. We're sending out phantoms. You can only send three. So actually, Angel 1 is a bit redundant there. And I guess the three angels we have in the other one are kind of all we need. So I think we do need to send a phantom over there so we can send, you know, a phantom and a couple of angels. And then here we can have a couple of phantoms and an angel. And I guess we'll keep a spare in Quetzalcoatl anyway. Because they're more likely to be damaged and we can send out the healthier one each time. I think that's probably wise. But uh, this is pretty cool. See how this goes. So this is this. Small. Oh wow, this is completely pointless, isn't it? There's another one over there. Launch interceptors. We can send all of our angels. So which one's this? Medium size? Okay. UFO intercepted. Fuel is 98%. It only took 2% of our fuel to get there. So auto resolve attack. Uh, we lost our armor. That's interesting that you actually have some armor before you start losing health, so that's pretty great. Uh, that'll do. And we now have a crash site. UFO class observer. That's a new type. Excellent. We might take that one down too. Um, but this is good. This is really good news. We're starting to make progress in the, like, air fight, I think. So I like that. Uh, so this crashed UFO is likely to contain valuable alien technology and resources. Deploying a combat team to eliminate any surviving extraterrestrials at the crash site will allow recovery to begin. Brilliant. Let's send them now. Uh, if another UFO appears here, I'm just going to send... I'm going to redirect the Phantoms. They seem so fast and really fuel efficient. Um, I think they can cover any of this area, take out a few things before we give up on them. Um, before we have to send them home. Unlike the Angels that kind of have one decent fight in them before they need to get home and like restock missiles and stuff so we'll see 
Although I didn't really look at the ammo. Ammo could be the big problem there, but I feel like it's when it's only the cannons, they have a lot of ammo. So, we'll see. Uh, right, let's launch this. Crash Site 12. Well, okay. Uh, do we have any good armor yet? We do. Ooh, wow, look at him. I actually kind of hate it. This looks so much cooler than this. I really don't like the look of this compared to this. See, the, these plates look way more like high-tech and interesting than this. That just looks like chunky Kevlar. It's just, ugh. I don't know. I don't like this. This looks too, um, I don't know, too conventional. Uh, but we need to throw some stuff out. Probably don't need this anymore. Okay, we're done. That's all we had to get rid of. 33 armor now, though. So he's in much better shape. And he's still got good accuracy, even without that and with the armor. And then for you, well, I can't equip you in Guardian Armor. That's our only one. But still, this is very cool to see. Also, I guess you don't need the sidearm. So actually, I guess I could just give you the tactical bibli. Yeah, fine. That's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. So, um, yeah, I think we're all set then. That's all I really need to change. Although, no, you still can't really carry much. That's okay. I forgive you. It's going to be a while before she gets to have better armor. Just, we need to get a strength up. I will lower a time unit. Like, apparently just carrying too much does help you put your strength up. So I'll give her another utility item there. And we'll see if that's um, wise. See how it goes. All right, cool. So uh, next battle, guys, you observer class ship that we are uh, going to have a rummage through. So we have Trevor Gamidi, Carol Hill, Kate White, uh, Liao Xiaoliu, uh, Amiko Tada, uh, Takada, Liang Yanan, Paul Voss, Yoko Ishihara, Fredrik Zrinyi, Clara Lindgren, Sally Reed, and Inka Pav Pavlova. Brilliant. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Okay.